right, well, here's the uh, third part of the Juggernaut build. Uh, I got to talk quiet. Uh, kids are still sleeping. Uh, and it's, uh, I don't want to wake them up. <laughs> um, uh, this is just cutting in the battery bays. And it's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to speed up the video just so um, I don't take up too too much time. It's a... Uh, um, fairly simple, just split it up uh, with your battery compartment. I believe the the opening should be about um, about five and a half by four and a quarter and you want your battery lid um, that comes in the kit to just have about an eighth inch on both sides of uh, the left and the right side and then um, around a quarter inch front to back so you can glue and put your velcro straps for your um, your 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 lid so it can fold down and have something to, to bite onto um, on the nose uh, it's, it's, it's kind of just whatever um, you, you just want to put your gorilla glue there and and tape your lid down and make sure you cut your um, your hinge in so um, this one uh, I made it a little bit bigger so but it's pretty much just up to the builder how much room you want um, you can make it a little bit smaller so you can put your batteries on each wing so it, it, it's just pretty much basically up to you um, and then here it is I'm just shaving the bottom after I cut the middle section out I cut the the I guess uh, the bottom section and uh, I have a really uh, sharp blade and I just kind of just eyeball it. I uh, shave it down and use the lower section of um, the piece that I cut out and I set it back into place with uh, the white Gorilla Glue and that, that seals up everything and it uh, works pretty good. The Oh yeah, you, you want to make sure you mark it, which one's the, the front, so you don't get confused and turn it around and set it in place with the white Gorilla Glue. And if you can find it in your area, um, that's great. Buy as much as you can. Um, I think they're about four, four something with change. Now with taxes too, so... Um, you figure around five bucks for each container and that just depends on your area um, but I try to buy as much as, as possible um, if it's in stock it works really good uh, just set it into place and even if you have a gap let's say you messed up a little bit just let the foam expand um, if there's a hole put a little bit more foam um, glue in there and let it expand and then you can just shave it down so there's no worries there um, I've had that. I've had um, that happen to me with the blade not being sharp, so it's fairly easy. Um, and that's what it looks like after you cut your hole. Uh, I waited. I think I waited the next day. It was, it was pretty late, so um, put it up in the backyard after you sand everything down. Uh, and again, that's uh, pretty pretty forgiving. Just lightly sand it. Don't press too hard else you'll take chunks out of the EPP. Uh, sand it down and you can spray paint it. That's the stuff I use. Um, black spray paint period just works pretty good. So that's the stuff I use. And just spray it. Blend it in. And uh, yeah. It's fairly simple. Um, yeah, I try to show, show as much as possible. So maybe um, someone might get get a better idea of, of what it's supposed to look like, uh, and at that point right there, it's the the frame itself is really strong. So for a one three cell pack, um, it it's no problem for it. Uh, let's see here. I'm just measuring the motor mount, and this is the this is what I do. <coughs> it's about it's a six inch core. Um, the motor mount itself is four inches, and uh, I, tr I try to bend everything um, 
ahead of time and scratch up the plate with some sandpaper and go crazy with the glue so don't worry about it if it if it pours out so I mean like I said <coughs> this uh, the whole build itself is very forgiving there's no right or wrong way to do it it's just very easy and uh, slap it on it should have it should be even on both sides so you had a lot of time here so there's really no uh, no rush so and uh, just make sure it's even on both sides so split it up split the difference uh, clamp it down if you can um, preferably to clamp it down and the I guess the motor mount where it's towards the nose or the belly the main belly uh, the, the middle section use weight to uh, push it down and you just want it flush with the with the wing um, and just let it glue and it, the glue is not going to shift the motor mount it's it's going to stay there um, I haven't had one shift yet so it's pretty simple there's the build <laughs>